Oh! Wow! All right, you take care of that, Dan. Oh! Oh, oh my God! Take it out. Oh! Oh, oh okay. God! I'm on. I'm on. The big, vertical jig never shake, fails. Oh God! There's so much lightning. Oh, there is one right there. Oh, I'm so tired. I'm running on no sleep. I think I'm too tired to even have coffee, believe it or not. That's cold anyways. All right, second early morning in a row. And the weather looks kind of nice, I think. You know, we're back in summertime and it's storming like boom. It'll be flat and then it'll be boom. So hopefully we don't get caught in a storm. But I'm gonna grab, so I'm gonna grab me some chicken, grab some water, chicken and grape soda. Ooh, it's my lucky day. I didn't get to sleep till like two or three in the morning last night, so I'm only running on three or four hours of sleep. But I got all my gear ready. So let's go downstairs and check it out. Hey, buddy. You're on... Oh, really? It really does look like a nice day. I mean, there's a lot of clouds, but <sighs> it smells like wahoo. And you know who's joining us today? Captain Dan. Oh, who's excited? I told Dan that I want to troll for some wahoo, some mahi, some tuna, some kingfish. We're going to troll probably to like 9 or 10 o'clock once the sun comes up a little bit. And then once we got that early morning out of the way, we're going to do some vertical jigging. So that's the plan today. I hope I have enough fuel. Oh, and there's one other thing. What is in my cooler? You know, sometimes I leave a mess in here and it's a bloodbath. And I don't remember, but I think I didn't clean it out from the last fishing trip. Fingers crossed. Oh, God. Dang it. It actually doesn't smell that bad. Oh, no. It's bad. It's bad. Oh, damn it. Why do I do these things? Wait. Oh no, my pre-rigged bally who are in here. I wanted to troll these today. I wonder if they're still good to troll. <laughs> oh, no bother. All right, I'm not gonna put you guys through the misery of me cleaning this. Goodbye. Please nobody told Dan that I'm eating a banana. Mm. Last night I was up way late rigging up all my rods, but uh, we did pretty good fishing with planers with Blake and Jordan. So I rigged up a rod for planers. We also got our spinning reels with the squid rigs for some tuna and for vertical jigging. This is the PC Fun Captain 8000 reel. It's a beast and we're going to be putting it to the test today. And I also got the PC Fun tackle bag, which is this beauty of a beast. I got it fully loaded with all sorts of tackle. And I love it because I can just throw it right on my back. Ah, that is so nice. And I just got to grab my rods, load up the boat, and Dan should be here shortly. I thought I heard someone pull up. Hey, hey, hey. This is my Oklahoma solo. What's up? Good morning. <laughs> Another early morning? Yeah, look at you, man. What the hell's going on with you, man? Jeez. Yeah. Man, you flipped me upside down now. <laughs> Doing mornings instead of the I don't know. No, I'm, I'm suffering too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm suffering. All right, so look at my brand. Look at this. Look at this beauty. You're going to love this. Oh my God. That's sweet or what? How tiny it is. You can hold it, hold it in your hand like that. That's, I like big handle too. Yeah. 39 inches per revolution is what it is. Wow. Comes in. So we'll okay. over three feet. Woo! Nice, right? Mm hmm. Pretty sweet. This controls the drop, believe it or not. You can stop the drop just by using this lever. I don't, oh. know, if it's, I don't know if it's. You know, okay, well. We'll see. We'll see what we get. Tuna Maybe nice. we'll get a little something. A little, little OSHA jig of tuna would be nice. All right, so I got ice. Got yes. Bait. Perfect. Ice we need. So yeah, you got some belly hoops. Unrig belly Perfect. And unrig strips, of course. Yeah, the, the strips. I got rigged up, ready to put some strips on. All right, cool. Is that what you guys use, isn't it? Yeah. Strip? 
Bonita strips. Oh, we were Maybe we were turned, huh? We were slaying it yesterday. It was <laughs> just like mahi, tuna, kingfish, wahoo, freaking Are you rainbow nuts? runner. Let's go. We were just slamming them. Oh, no, it's a Wait, the what? Your other car. Which other car? The real, you know, the uh... the Range Rover. Yeah. Oh, it's in the back. I actually sold it. No, no, no. She's going to the grave with me. <laughs> All right. I hope everything goes smooth today. I have a couple of pre-rigged belly hoop, but they have been defrosted for like four days, so they might be uh, not trollable. We got everything we could ever want. This is actually another PC fun thing. Oh, okay, nice. But it's like a backpack too, so. Uh -huh. Okay. What else do we need? I think we are pretty much good to go. All right, hopefully we have a engine-free, boat problem-free kind of day. Mm -hmm. hey. So far, so good. So far, so good. <laughs> Let's see if she turns over. <sighs> We're at 47% fuel. That should be enough for today. I have an extra six gallons just in case. No storms on site. I don't see any storms. No storms. Engine sounds good. That engine fired right up. Yeah. Beautiful out here. Sun is shining almost. Sun is shining. Yeah, nice. One swift push off to bring us to the victory lands. We're driving nicely through the mangroves. The engine is working. Oh, yeah. Working nice. But you know what? It's working so nice. I didn't even pay attention. Yeah, everything is running wow. real smooth. We are offshore. We are here. Off Time to start trolling between like. How many feet are we at? We're gonna be like between 130 feet to like 250 feet. Lands right there, Key Largo. Ah, uh, don't you love trolling when you can see land? So far. <laughs> so far. <laughs> All right, so, so what's, uh, we're gonna troll an electric with a planer on it. Oh, okay. The PC Fun electric reel. We're gonna do a little comparison. The battery hooked up one versus this one. This one's a little more convenient. Okay, it beeped, so it turned on. That's a good sign. Today is going to be a bunch of small winds, I think. Small what? A bunch of small winds leading up to a big win. And then this guy, I'm really excited because if, if this works smoothly, it's actually a very nice. I hope that the bridles that I made are long enough because uh, I made them for this one, but this one's... Okay, no, those will be good. I think I need some chicken. Chicken I need a pe I need a chicken before I do anything. You want some chicken? Yes. Yeah. Those are some very beautiful strips you got there, Dan. Okay, thank you, thank you. Valley hoots. Did you make these yourself? I did. Ooh. All right, Dan's got us going. I'm gonna put these out. I have no idea what to expect. I hope they work on the crack at X. It looks good. I'm going to hit the one piece of seaweed. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's working. Mm, I really hope this rod doesn't rip out, but I think we'll be okay. Time for this bad boy to go out. They look pretty good. I just hope they get down there without these weeds on them. Wow, look at that planer diving. All right, all right, all right. You know, we should have put the feather out first. Noob mistake on my part. All right, squid rig away. All right, two planers and a feather. Oh, oh there we go. We're on. Right there. You're taking it there, man. Did not take long. Did not take, well, how long have we been fishing for? Uh, about 30 seconds. Yeah, 30 seconds. Fish on. Oh my gosh, this was far out. I did this to myself. I don't know, it's probably a tuna that's not very big. Here he comes. He's not that small. Is that, a, it's, it's a kingfish. Oh, a king on the top. Oh, baby. A kingfish on the top. Oh, well oh, done. Yeah. That, that was that initial drag. Right on the, right off the rip. That was that, that was that drag. 
Okay, I'm going to stick him in right onto the ice. He's not cooperating. There's the squid rig. Slammed it. Sending him back out. Hiya! And away he goes. Back to battle. Got fish on? Yeah, we got a fish on here. We got a big fish on here. Oh baby, we got a Oh ho, ho, we got a big fish on. What could have it been? Let's see if there's some chew marks on here. Hmm. What's going on here? It is a little shmangled. You never know, we could have a fish on here. We definitely got some weeds. Maybe we should do a weed catch and cook because we've been catching a lot of it today. Bring her on in, buddy. Let's see what we got on here. Probably more weeds. Dang, yeah, that's the problem. The baits had seaweed on them. Oh, I got a fish on mine. I got a fish. We got a fish on here, Dan. I think. I don't know. We're tangled or something. Is that not coming up? I'm bringing it up slowly because I don't want to bring it up. I'm trying to figure out where it is. Oh boy, it is. Okay. Is there a fish on here? Maybe not. Oh boy, we got our we got ourselves quite the tangle. How did that happen? That no should idea. this shouldn't happen. Nope. We got a damn. Oh, I felt like a fish. Well, we got a strong start on the day with the kingfish, and now we're uh, back to battling. We need to put these out in a slightly weed-free zone. Go, 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 go. Uh, it's wrapped all around me. I think we just hooked the most colossal sea seaweed monster known to man. Damn! Woo! Gotta love the seaweed. In it right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Some just hit that planter. Should I slow it down or can it reel it in? If it can reel it in, then I'd like to keep the speed if possible. Pretty sure there's a fish on there, right? The joys of the planer. Fish on? Oh, okay. I'm gonna slow it down just a touch because I think the other rod's on too. I don't think it's a big fish, but it's definitely something. It's, it's a something? There's a something on it. Do I need to get the gaff? I don't think so, yet. If it's a blackfin, we can just whip him in? Yeah, I think so. Uh-oh, he's going over this yeah. rod. You might have to, uh, might have to reel him in on this there. side, yeah. Oh, Dan's fighting the fish with the standing up. Uh oh. Oh no, it unplugged. Oh no, it unplugged. Fight him! Oh, fight! Oh yeah, it just jumped right on the water. There we go. I'll fight him by hand. Yeah. Fight him by hand. What is that? Is that a kingfish? Barracuda? Oh no. Oh. Boo! Boo! Big stealer. Yeah. Heartbreaker. He's a harp. Oh, of course. Now we are marking a ton of fish of right under the boat. Um, you know what? I will. I'm gonna gaff him. I'm gonna save him for chunks so I can go deep dropping All later. Right. All right, buddy. You. Hi, buddy. You've signed your own death sentence. <laughs> Here we go. Look at that mouth. Whoa! Oh! All right. All right, exorcism time. That is a sh sharp mouth. Whoa! He's trying to do it. He wants me. Unfortunately for him, he could never afford me. You've met the top of the food chain, my friend. Damn, he was on there good. That's so close to coming out. Alright. Yes, Your favorite, Dan. My favorite. There you go. Day's not complete unless you get one of those. Now we got we deep drop bait for the next episode. We yeah, now we gotta go make our baits look pretty again. Yeah. And I'm gonna reel this rod up because I think there might be something on it. Seaweed salad! All you can eat today. 
That should be the intro to this video, just me like untangling 20 seaweed. Okay, so you know what? It looks like the seaweed's not as bad here in shallow water. So we can put them out in shallow and then we'll go deep. I'll put mine out real quick. Hey, yeah, go, 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 buddy, go. Go, get out there. Yo, brother. Oh. Big fish on air. Oh. Oh, wow. Uh, All right, you take care of that, Dan. Oh, ho, ho. oh my God. God oh. 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 Oh, okay. oh, God. Something's on this. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we reeled in a piece of trash is on that, this. Is that we tripped the planter? Uh-oh, what happened here? I don't know. Oh, something cut this one off. What? Yeah, this one got cut off. The heck? Isn't that like 80 pound braid? It, it cut off at the mono, I wonder... Oh, Lord, well, anyways. <laughs> that was a nice hit, whatever it was. Yeah, the only thing is, here's, here's what's in question. If half of it's seaweed. Uh-oh. Yeah. What's going on here? Uh-oh, we caught oh, each other. No. Oh, no. At least there might be a fish somewhere on this. I don't think we're hooked up that badly, but... Yeah, I feel I feel my line slipping on yours. Well, it cut off right at the thing. I I think those swivels are too small. It's nice to know we're both catching this fish. Yeah, we're both catching the fish. <laughs> you probably have the actual hook in them though. Yeah, I'm just getting the assistant. You're, you're giving me the assistant. He must have grabbed your feather and then swam over to mine and tried to eat mine. He's a big one. What do you think we got? Black fin tuna? I think it's a black fin. Is that color or is that just seaweed? I thought I saw something green in there. I'm probably bringing the seaweed in. Is that, that's a mahi? Yeah, we're in gear just a little bit. Oh, yeah. Huh. So what am I hooked on? hooked on me. Hey, are we free? Hey, dude, we're free. Oh. Yeah. Hey, we're free. I'm free. Hey, look, he's got a nice little head on him. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Yeah. Woo! Oh, yeah. hey! There, go. there we go! Right. That's a decent one. Right. Now, if only we could have caught that during this, the Mahi yeah. tournament. Where were you there uh, two weeks ago, dude? That's a good one. Here comes the wrestling part. Take it easy. Listen, I got a deal for you. I got a deal for you. Dan's got a deal for you. Okay. Oh, yeah. Not bad. Beautiful. <laughs> Some good colors on him. Yeah. Oh, nobody else with him? No, he seemed to have been alone. Woo! You know where you're going. All right, to the cooler. Yes, very nice, very nice. It is the weediest day ever. No wonder nothing wanted to hit it. Well, when she wants to go, she goes. Oh, nice. Got all the ice laid in there nicely. Yeah, now your drinks will get all fucked. All right, where's my vertical jigs at? I brought a whole bunch of them. There we go, vertical jigging time. We're gonna drift this way. Yeah, this side. All right, time to do some vertical jigging. Probably should move this guy. I got the subscriber-made special jig. That's nice, man. Yeah, I, I like it. Put those hooks on for you too. Yep. There it goes. Down to the bottom. Hopefully, we mark something. Got a lot of current today typical i'm i would put money on that i'm gonna hook up on this drop i think this is gonna be a good drop here i just gotta hit the bottom i just gotta hit the bottom that's all i gotta do man there's a lot of lightning in that cloud over there that that is coming our way isn't it i'm on ah, i'm on that's what i'm talking about oh no Vertical jig. Back i down. still got the jig oh i'm on again i'm on there you go yeah Oh, or you know what here you could go to the back oh the big, vertical jig big never fails ah! dan you like the vj i like the vj the vj vj oh v okay vertical jig yeah it's coming up now right. he gave up that or oh he's swimming up big two i think i'm thinking grouper or something or I don't know. I don't know. It's no, hey, no. Oh. no. He got off. Got a loss. No. 
I, I think I put it a little too hard to him there. Yeah, yeah, we got to reset on that. Oh, I still got the jig. Let's see. Got everything? Yes? You got both hooks on the bottom? All the hooks are okay. still on there. The That's always a good fish. Damn it. Let me smell it. Yeah. What do you think? 40 pound black grouper. That's what I was thinking. Damn. All right, well, All right, this time we'll get on the perfect drift. All right. We got to get a fish up. I can't believe that just happened. We would have had a nice fish in the box right there. That had to be a mutton or a grouper. I don't think it was a tuna because he, he wasn't giving me like the circular head shakes, but you almost on the bottom? I did go the wrong way. I don't know how. Right yeah, if, if you hit bottom right now, it's it should be a hookup. 240 feet, vertical jigging. Why am I not hitting the bottom? What's going on here? Okay, now I'm, I'm on the bottom. Follow it up. Oh, I'm on. Double hookup, double hookup. I'm gonna move to the front of the boat. Yeah, we own, we own. Mine's kind of, oh. <laughs> How are you doing over there? This one's got a crazy head shake. I don't know what that is. Mine's a coming up, fruity tootie. Maybe it's an Almaco Jack. I would like one of those. Ooh. Yeah, snowy grouper. We're dreaming big over here. Uh oh, our fish are running kind of towards you. Wow, you must have a really big one then. Mine's kind of, mine's coming up. I wonder if we're stuck on each other's lines. Really? I am not going to give in to that. Okay, I see my fish. Hold it, hold it. Here we go. There we go, there we go, there we go. We're gonna have to Okay, that. yep. Yep. Okay. Big uh, AJ, I think? Yep. Or is that an Almaco? Woo! Fun fish, man. Fun fish on a jig. Holy Hey, buddy. Is yours coming up at all? Uh, a little. A little? A little. Oh, so you got something real big on yours. Not necessarily. I think you got more muscle on those. You know what I mean? That rod and that reel is more muscle. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's got a lot of backbone. Well, I think I'm going to let him go. Yeah. I'm not going to keep him. That's a greater amberjack. Technically, he's legal. Yeah, they are in season right now. <laughs> How's your battle going? I'm doing all right. I'm winning now. <laughs> so they got to be 28 inches to keep them. You know what? I'm going to let him go. There you go. There's the fisherman in you. Yeah, I'm going to let him go. Beautiful fish. Mine's coming up. Yours is going in. Mine's going down. One in and one coming up. What do you got here? Oh! oh what is you want me to gaff him? That's yes. a market. More than likely, yep. That's a big ass market down there. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no! Oh, no. <laughs> yes! Hey, that's a good there eating fish is, right there. Got some food on the table. Wow. With a jig. Dang! Dang is right. Wow. That's look a hot at, spot you got there, buddy. Yeah, look at that jig. Woo! -hoo. All right. On a little baby Shimano Osa jigger. Look at that. All right. Excellent. I'm very happy with that. Dang, he had every hook in his in his face. Yeah, we weren't gonna lose that. Oh, yeah, he's pretty damn big. Yeah, he's a that's a big stud daddy muffin. <laughs> We call him a white market. I think they're more. It's a white market or a white grunt or something. They're they're delicious though. Woo! Very happy with these fish. Looks like we got a storm a brewing, but we might uh we might keep fishing. We should go do another drop. I think it looks like the storm kind of rained itself out. Drop number two. Oh man, that is quite the little cloudy cloud. Uh, I don't know how we're drifting. Yeah, screw it. I just dropped it right here. Oh, we're drifting way fast oh, now. Man. Yeah, I think I'm in the wrong spot for it. You should probably be hitting it perfectly. Oh, I'm on the bottom though. I'm on! Right. Yes! Ooh -wee. Yeah, he's giving it to me. Oh man, he's he's got a pretty violent head shake. Yeah, what does it mean? Come on! He's taking that line. Please don't tell me he got me into a rock. No, no, he didn't. Rag. He's he, he wherever he 
hit, he's dragged out of that area now. Now he's kind of like chilled out a little bit. Oh. Come on, buddy. Ooh. This is heavy, right? Quite. Are you trying to put line out on there? Put a little bit of line out. Uh, the, it's like a lever that you push down with yep. like this thing right there. Oh, yeah. Got it. Oh, that storm is picking up. I'm excited because the head shakes have kind of stopped. So, oh. another amberjack. Another AJ. You want to flip them or? Uh. All right, buddy, you're free to go. You may leave at your own free will. Wow, that lightning is crazy. All right, we might get hit right. Oh God, there's so much lightning. It didn't even have to be in the clouds. Yeah, what the heck? That was like, that's like when you least expect it. I probably shouldn't get off plane in here. It's coming, it's so close. Oh, it's right there. I just want to get to the dock. Well, this might be the fastest I've ever gone through here. We're just hoping nobody else is coming out the direction. Yeah, I swear, storms are attracted to us. Oh, it's right there. It's so close. I don't want another one of the. Oh, oh that was a big lightning one. Lightning bolts out there. It's so close. We're almost there. Wow, what a front. Look at that. Come on, come on. Boom. Get us home. Boom. Ooh, there is a lightning strike right there. Like, the thing I'm worried, I think that e even though we're not right under there, I think the lightning can still hit here. Oh, man, we'll find a fried boat. Two skeletons on it. Burnt to a crisp. Hey, at least our chicken wings might be hot again. There you go, warm up there. It'll reheat them for us. Come on, come on. Oh, there is one right there. Yeah, you never know where they're gonna strike. Yeah, like how close can you be to electricity before it like affects you? One time I was surfing at the beach and with my brother and there's this like a lightning storm coming and everything was like all electrocuted and my hair was standing straight up, Shit. like straight into the air. My brother looks at me and goes, run, run. Can't run away from yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that one lightning bolt really Got that the party. Close, that one got the party popping. That one was close. We're tied off. Successful trip. That means we can ditch anytime we start running if we have to. Made it back alive. That thunder is going to be hitting us in yeah. any minute. But here we are. Here oh. we are. All right. Successful trip. We live. And we have a box full of fish. That's right. And we're back before 12. That's right. Wow. Is it really? I think so. I think it's. It's 11.30. I love, I love getting home this early. Yeah, you, got, you still have like a whole day almost. So yeah, just like an out. early morning troll, like yeah. couple, spend an hour jigging and just head back in. It's not a bad, uh, yeah, sometimes the like sunrise to sunset days, those, those really kick my butt. I just go home and lay down, but boy, does that feel good. <laughs> I got home and I was like, what do I want to do? Lay down. Oh, big iguana. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Okay. All right. How do you want this fish? Just, just here. Just, yeah, hand them to me. And, okay, all right. You want to grab the mahi, too? Yeah. You don't want any of them? Uh, I'll, take, I'll take a piece of that margate. I, I don't need any mahi, though. Okay. But I'll take a piece of that guy. Okay, so I'll give you a, I'll, uh, half a slab. I'll, I'll this guy. Uh -huh. That is a chunky, nice. Those that's nice, a thick, good. White. Yeah. You know what I mean? Those are good, delicious fish. I've never had one. Got them on the jig, man. Got them on the jig. Got them on the jig. All right. That's the way to do it. Go in the morning. Yeah. Look, Damn, we got good. so much. What are we gonna do? I might take a nap. Thanks, right. man. It was a good morning. This was a good. Yeah, that this was, was a smart idea. Trip. Wow. Look at this storm. Look at that. Oh. Whoa. Do you hear that lightning? sounds like a war like that straight up sounds like artillery fire that's crazy once this storm passes i'm gonna get that kingfish we're gonna brine the kingfish and we making some smoke kingfish yeah it's been a while and i'm stoked i have a confession to make started storming real bad so i went inside <laughs> i've been napping for like the last three hours <laughs> uh it's been a while since i've taken a like a real nap 
boy do I feel good. I needed that. But we're going to clean up that kingfish and we're going to be smoking the kingfish. Because you know kingfish, butter, and coffee is my ultimate favorite breakfast. I'm also going to cut up the barracuda. Half of it I'm gonna save for chunk bait for a future deep dropping trip. And the other half I'm gonna give to my neighbor. That's the plan. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah. You know, I'll just do the kingfish first. Come back for the barracuda. Hey Elliot. Look what I got. Yeah, here I'll give you a piece of Oh, beautiful kingfish. We'll just run that knife right down his spine. I love kingfish so much. Wow, that is like the perfect cut right there. Woo! Elliot's chewing on a leaf down there, acting all crazy. But I'm gonna give him a little piece here. So the great part about having your pet around is if you do miss any meat, you can just give it to them. Look what I got, buddy. It's kingfish, one of your favorite. Kingfish is also one of my favorite. Cause it's, I don't know, there's just something about kingfish that's so good. It almost tastes like a, I don't know how to describe it. Like a steak, but a lot of people don't like kingfish because it's just slightly more oily fish. But I think that's the part that makes me like it so much. Look at this beautiful slab here. That is a, we're gonna smoke this up. So there's a couple of bones right here. These are the rib cage bones. Let's go ahead and cut those out. Now there are a lot of like uh, pin bones kind of going right here and you can cut them out but when I smoke fish I don't really bother cutting the bones out because they're very easy to take out afterwards once you smoke them so I'm just gonna leave those bones in there and I'll cut this into three pieces one piece two oh that right there is a premium piece of kingfish hey bud All right, I'm gonna go ahead and flay the other side of this kingfish, and I will see you guys in the kitchen. We're gonna brine it, then we're gonna smoke it. Ooh, hoo, hoo, yeah. We pulling the slices off of here. There we go, one kingfish quartered up, looking juicy, ready for the brine and the carcass. We're just gonna toss in the water. Now, where's that barracuda at? Now, a barracuda is pretty much gonna get cleaned exactly the same way as a Kingfish. We'll kind of just outline them and then run that knife right along that spine. Probably use a slightly bigger knife for this, but let's see, does Elliot want a fresh piece of barracuda? Let's find out. He loved the kingfish. Elliot, you want barracuda? Let's see. Hey, you gonna eat it or not? Oh, he's licking it. He's licking it. Nope. <laughs> now he's giving me fist bumps. He's licking it. There we go. Now he's chewing on it. Interesting. I don't think I've ever fed him raw barracuda before, so he might have been a little confused there. No, he's walking away and he's leaving it. What? Elliot, you don't want this? That's a premium cut for you. Little disappointed. Oh, look, a honeybee. My honeybee. He's landing on the barracuda. Yeah, for those of you that don't know, I have honeybees and look how thick they are. And they're my boys. They're all busy making me honey, right, Elliot? We got ourselves some, some primo honey here. Now we're gonna have barracuda flavored honey after he landed on here. There we go. Two fine pieces of barracuda. Here's one big filet of barracuda. I just took it off the skin. That is going to go to my neighbor who will surely fancy himself a nice little barracuda feast. And then this barracuda, this piece, I'm actually going to cut into little chunks and this will be deep drop bait. So make sure you hit that subscribe button because we got an epic deep drop trip coming up probably later this week I'm shooting for. And we're gonna have ourselves some fresh bait. All right, we cleaned up and we're good to go. For the record, Elliot did end up eating the piece of barracuda that I put down there for him. So I think he just wasn't used to how it tastes because 
I've never given him Barracuda before. Look at him exploring over here. How you doing, buddy? Or should I say, what are you doing? Just walking around, living that good life. It's a beautiful day. That's Florida for you. It'll be storming like it's the end of the world in one second. And like 15 minutes later, it's glass flat, beautiful, perfect day. Oh yeah, look at that. Can you ask for anything more beautiful? There's our kingfish, but wait, there's more. Our fishing trip yesterday with Jordan and Blake, that was the last episode that you guys watched. I still have all of that kingfish too. So I'm gonna be adding all of this in here. You know, if you're gonna make a little bit, you might as well make a lot. And I'm gonna kind of layer it. So the first layer, I'm gonna take all the pieces out. We wanna layer them so the skin side of the kingfish never touches the meat of another kingfish. I put some salt in here, not that much. I'll put some brown sugar. We're gonna be adding more in just a second, but we just wanna get the base, base layer down, add some water, stir it up in there. You know, we're gonna add a little more than that. More salt, more brown sugar, more water. Now we're talking. We're gonna put our first layer of kingfish down and we're gonna want the skin side facing down. That seems like maybe three. Can we fit four in this layer? Yes, all right, like that. Now we're gonna add the other pieces with the skin side facing down so that way it's skin on skin. Ooh, yeah, skin on skin action, man. I'm getting hungry and excited now. We got room for one more. Come on. Come on and join the party. These are these pieces are kind of big. We might need to cut them down a bit. Yeah, I think that... You know what? Screw it. We're going to put a couple of big pieces in there. All right, we're going to put some extra salt just on top of these. Give them a light sprinkle. You don't want to go too heavy on the salt because if it's too salty, you can ruin it. I would rather have a little less salt than too much salt. Some extra sugar. And then we're gonna lay our final pieces skin down so it's skin on skin. Ooh, baby, why does that, that is just so exciting. All right, and our final piece, our biggest and final piece, this is a mega, mega monster piece. Thick, real good. Slap it down right there. For good measures, we'll just add, sprinkle on a little bit of extra salt, a little bit of extra brown sugar, and some extra water. Whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. Now a good indicator to know if your salt and sugar levels are right is just stick your finger in there, give it a little spinny spin, and give it a, give it a little lick. It should taste salty, but it shouldn't be like salty to the point where you make a face and you're like, ooh, that's really salty. It should taste like like salted popcorn, like kettle corn. It's got a little bit of sweetness and some saltiness, but not to the point where if I was to keep licking my finger, eventually my mouth would just be like, oh, that's what's way too salty. No, it's the perfect salty level. Now we're gonna put this in the fridge for anywhere from 12 to 24 hours. I'll probably put it in there for probably about 14, 15 hours. And then tomorrow, we're gonna throw it on the smoker. And then we got ourselves some smoked kingfish. All right, it's been like 20 hours. Uh, 18 hours, actually. Woo wee All right, we're gonna take all of the kingfish out. We're gonna set it on this rack here and kind of let it just dry off for a second. Oh, baby, we got quite the tray here. Ah, beautiful day. All right, look at our smoker. We got the Traeger on smoke setting, and now we're gonna take our kingfish and we're gonna put it in there. It almost doesn't even need to be in the Traeger. Damn, this thing's rolling. Look at that, baby. Wow. All right, let's open her up. Woo. Just kind of start placing the fish in there, I guess. Big boy. There we have it. 
All right, the Traeger is chilling out there with all our fish on it. And usually I smoke fish between two to four hours. It kind of just depends on the size of the fillets. It also depends on how hot your smoker is. So like a day like today, there's a lot of sun out there and my Traeger will run like 20 to 30 degrees hotter than on a day where it's like rainy and overcast. So it kind of just depends. Check it every like 30 minutes, wait for the fish to get like a nice golden brown and then you know it's done. So we'll just uh, burn some time and I'll see you guys when the fish is done. We got ourselves quite the dish of smoked kingfish right here. So one of my favorite ways to store kingfish is in this cling wrap here. We'll just take ourselves a little piece, throw it on there, wrap it up nice and tight. Cut it off. Then you have this perfect little gift that you can put in your fridge. This will stay good for probably like two weeks and just open it whenever you want. We'll eat one of those later. But this big piece of smoked fish and maybe a couple other pieces, I think I'm gonna turn into fish dip tomorrow. But for now, I'll just wrap up all the pieces and put them in the fridge. They smell delicious. How about we try a little piece? Ooh, that's looking good. Mmm. Yep, yep. Right on the money. Right on the money, baby. Brewing up a cup of coffee and we got ourselves a beautiful, wrapped up like a present piece of smoked kingfish. Ah, it's gonna be a good breakfast. But I also got this big bag of some really big pieces of smoked kingfish. And we are gonna be making some fish dip. And I'm also going to try to make my own homemade mayo for the very first time in my life. So how is that gonna play out? I don't know. I'm gonna have my coffee and we're gonna get to cooking. Yeah, let's see what this bad boy looks like. Ooh. So it completely peels apart from the skin. So the skin's on the bottom. You don't really wanna eat the skin, but it'll come, the smoked fish comes right off of the skin. Look at that, just comes right off of it and you're left with a beautiful piece of smoked fish. Here you go, bud. Yeah, you like that? Oh yeah, you like that. Go on, take it, just take it. <laughs> Come here. Come down here, bud. Ooh, yeah, right there. That's looking good. Mm. Oh yeah, it's not too salty at all. Got a little bit of that brown sugar taste. The only thing I'm missing now is a piece of bread with some butter on it. Oh, and the most important thing. Hmm. <laughs> We're gonna have a productive day today. <sighs> to make homemade mayo from what I read is super simple. Four ingredients. You put a couple of raw eggs in your blender, start blending it. Then you add some lemon juice, keep blending it. Add a little bit of mustard and then just add like a few drops of some kind of oil. In this case, I'm using organic extra light olive oil. And that's it. That seems too easy, but let's see <laughs> what we get out of this concoction. First step, we got our eggs. I'm just gonna do two eggs for now. If we need more mayo, I can always make more, but I think that's a good start. Stick it up and we'll just start mixing it for 30 seconds. Now I'm gonna squeeze a little bit of lemon in there. Oh, no, my lemon. Okay, a little, as I was saying, a little bit of lemon juice. I don't think we want too much, but I think that was plenty. Start mixing and then as that's mixing, I'm gonna add just a little bit of mustard. I'll be honest, it doesn't look like mayo at all in there. This mayo does not look like mayo. It just looks like a watery beat down egg. I better watch some more YouTube videos on this. Okay, I see where I messed up here. They only use one egg and they use a lot of mustard and they use a lot of oil and they're using a food processor and not a blender, which so uh, I think I might've screwed up, but I'm gonna try to do this anyways. Okay. Full speed blending, more mayo, and then I'm gonna pour in the olive oil and we're gonna see what happens. Mm. 
the blender has been blending for like 10 minutes now, maybe longer, and the mayo looks like egg water. Yeah, something ain't right with that. So leave a comment if you know how I can make what where I went wrong in that one. But uh, I got some store-bought mayo. The reason that I was trying to make my own mayo is because all these store-bought mayos, Blue Plate, Dukes, uh, where's the other one? Then I had some like healthy one in here somewhere. I can't find it, but they all have soybean oil as the main ingredient which is not good at all. So I'm, I'm trying to make my own with olive oil, but I don't know, some, something went wrong. I guess I'm gonna be a bad boy today and I'm gonna consume me some soybean oil cause I want that fish dip. All right, I guess today's a cheat day. We're gonna leave this battlefield of a kitchen in progress behind and we're gonna go out to the garden, and do a little bit of snipping. Look at the size of my chives or green onions. They're just massive. We'll chop ourselves off a little fatty bubaletti right here. Boom, look at that. <laughs> wow, it is a beautiful day. Beautiful day. You know, I should be fishing right now instead of trying to make some fish dip. Look how big this sucker is. Damn. Big boy. With fish dip, you can get pretty creative. It's Almost impossible, in my opinion, to mess up fish dip. But the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put in two packs of cream cheese. There's our second pack going in. Timber! Pump it back up. Start that mixer. Okay. Let's give it a try. Got my fork, I'm just gonna scoop some right out of there. And it's always good to taste your fish dip, see if it's missing anything. Usually the biggest thing that you will probably be missing is it's not salty enough, but we'll see. Mmm. Oh. Mayo, unnecessary. This is premium. That is premium fish dip right there. Honestly, the lemon, it's so fresh that you can taste the, the garden freshness of the chives in there too. Very good. The saltiness is very low. It's almost no salt. If you would have asked me if there was salt in this, I would have been like, maybe not, maybe a tiny bit, maybe not. It, not salty at all, which I like. I'm not gonna add any more salt to it because if you put this on like a little saltine cracker or something, and then you put a jalapeno on top of that, whoo! You know, like I always say, you take a piece of like nice, fresh, homemade sourdough bread, you you spread that this fish dip on top, and that with a cup of coffee, oh my gosh. You guys, we're in heaven, right here. Right here, right now. We're already living it. But uh, thank you guys for watching this episode. I'm about to stuff my face. I got some friends coming over. I'm very interested to see what they say about this, but I already know they're gonna love it. Again, it's, pretty hard to mess up fish dip. It's just a bunch of really tasty ingredients all mixed together. How can you mess it up? The only way to mess it up would probably be too much salt or something like that. But uh, can't wait to do some more catch and cook episodes. I'll see you guys on the very next one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.